I am wearing my life is better in pajamas, pajamas. I'm also now going to be doing these on YouTube where I'm not constricted or restricted by the uh, two minute and 20 second limit that Twitter has on uploading videos that was driving me crazy trying to edit out three seconds and four seconds to try to get them down to upload. So now I can breathe and if it ends up being a two and a half minute video or even a three minute video or a 30 minute video, um, I can express myself and you can watch or you don't have to. I'm just going to put it out there for you. So today is a well, it's a happy day and it's a sad day. It's a happy day because it's the anniversary of the birth of some puppies that I had a long time ago. It's a sad day because I just clipped off my fingernails. I, um, growing up as a uh, piano player, I had a classical teacher named Paul Keeter in Westfield, New Jersey. And when I came into my lesson, if he could hear my nails clicking on the keys, he would stop and get the nail clipper and clip my nails down. It was very humiliating. So I got in the habit in the um, waiting room, waiting for my piano lessons to start biting my nails. I was biting my nails for years because of that. Um, and then because you play the piano, you keep your nails short. I haven't really been at the piano for at least a year until recently. Um, and I was delighted to finally have girly hands and I had longer fingernails and my fingers looked longer because I have very short, small, actually small hands with short fingers for a piano player is not great. But the longer nails made my fingers look female and elegant and sexy and um, it was exciting to have nails. But as I did those videos for you guys the last couple of days, the holiday videos, I was hearing, I'm still hearing it a little bit, my nails clicking on the keys, which drove me crazy. And I figured Mr. Keeter, wherever he is, is yelling at me about that too. Plus, when your nails are too long, it really uh, affects your fingering, you know, and your, your form, because your hands can't curve the way they should. If you're playing properly, you end up having to cheat, like typists with long nails, you know, those receptionists with those really gaudy, sparkly nails do. Um, so I clipped them. They're not quite as short as they probably should be, but I wasn't ready to go full Monty with them yet. So what I'm doing now is I am dusting off my classical chops because I've been trying to um, play songs that I played over 40 years ago very well. I was a prodigy. I was a classical pianist, classical piano major. Um, and it's disheartening to sit and stumble and miss notes. And I can't even remember songs that I used to be able to play all the time. So I decided to dust off my classical repertoire. Um, I couldn't find my copy, so I printed from the internet this beautiful Chopin waltz, which is the first thing I'm going to start working on. And then I found in my box in the garage my Cacciatorian Toccata, which, you know, there's a lot of black there on the page. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and my Gershwin Preludes. And of course, the Moonlight Sonata by Beethoven, which is missing its cover and last page. So I'll have to find those. Um, Rhapsody in Blue, which was one of the pieces I used for my college audition. I used to be able to play that whole thing without one mistake, memorized. Um, Rachmaninoff, my favorite prelude is the uh, C sharp minor which I will dust off. And you can see, let's see if I can find it, you know, where my, my teacher would, you know, left hand, right hand, fingering, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, one, you know, to help me with the proper fingering for some of the arpeggios and, and runs. Um, I don't know that I ever played all of the 10 preludes in here. Looking at them, I don't think I did. I think the one, um, you know, the famous one, da 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 da. Um, is that Rachman enough? I might be wrong on that now. Um, oh no, that's the Mozart, right? That's the Mozart uh, Fantasia. <laughs> yeah, that's how bad I am. Um, 
oh my god, something from Bandcamp in the <laughs> in the seventies. Wow, it's old. Um, and some Schubert. Yeah, that looks too easy. I could do that one in a, in a minute. Okay, so, and the Mozart, the Fantasia in C. This is the other piece that I did for my college audition. So it was the Gershwin uh, Rhapsody in Blue, and it was the Fantasia in C. That's the bum, 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 bum. It's... Which is just, it's a stunning, stunning piece. Um, and it gets faster and faster, and the Allegro section is a fuck to play. Um, I probably shouldn't be using swear words on these videos in case kids watch, huh? I'll edit, I'll edit out swear words. Um, it's a pain. It's, it's a lot of work. I'll use that word instead. Um, I'll bleep the bad words. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, really, like, look at this. It's insane, right? It's, it's insane. So, anyway... Um, I'm going to start dusting off some of these pieces and just share with you, right? We're going to start with the Chopin waltz. I am not going to get through the whole thing today on this video. I, my goal is to perfect each section then do the whole thing through without mistakes and then start working on rememorizing it because I, I I can play most of the first movement and the uh, yeah, I can play most of it but as I was going through it I got to a section I went oh I forgot it did this um, so my goal is to relearn it and start to get my chops back and then go through each of these pieces um, yeah, the Fantasia in C is just stunning. But we'll start with the waltz. This is Frederick Chopin, uh, and it is a, it's known as a waltz. And, yeah. <laughs> Stage right. Okay. <clears throat> And the video's not great, and the sound's not great, and I'm making apologies and excuses, and people told me not to denigrate myself so much. So I'll be kinder to myself because it's a big deal. It's a big deal to sit back at the piano. I'm going to start crying now. Wow. I'm going to start crying. Um, it's a big deal to revisit um, this part of me that... Um, I had suppressed crying. Good thing I'm not singing, huh? Okay. Ah. Here we go. stuff because I was listening to myself instead of watching the music. We're gonna do that again. This is how it goes when you're getting back on the horse after a while. And now I know what's wrong. I have it on a sound that's throwing me off. I'm usually on the, the, the uh, grand piano sound. Oh, there we go. My fingering is so off here. Nope, that was wrong. Get nervous. 
fingers, I get faster. I need a metronome. messes me up with the fingering. With my fingers are short. Let's start that section again. And it goes to a new section, a pulento section. So we're going to do that from the top again. We're going to see if I can do less clunkers and less apologies. I hope you're still with me. If you've tuned out and gone to something more entertaining like, I don't know, Sarah Cooper or Andy Rainbow or Barbara Streisand or whatever, see ya. <laughs> I'm going to do a little more of this on video to show the process for anybody who's a, a younger piano student who's feeling frustrated and knows, I know what you're feeling. I know it. This is my second time around knowing what it feels like. Because um, I'm 61 and I started playing when I was six. And I studied uh, formally with Mr. Keeter from age seven to 17. I had an audition to be uh, a student. He normally didn't take them as young as seven, but I had a gift back then. Uh, and then I majored in piano for a year. And in high school, I was in choir and marching band and uh, took music theory. And then in college, my first year in college, I majored in piano um, and then dropped out. But my background is really grounded in classical and I'm a sight reader. I envy the jazz players who can listen to something and just play along and voice things. And if you watch me on the songs that I compose, I'm not really an arranger. Um, I, I don't, um, I don't have that skill set or never developed that skill set. Um, I'm a by rote player. I'm a classical player. And there are people who can't read a note at all, who don't know what key that is in. They don't know that that's in the key of E because there are four sharps. And they don't know what that X means, that that means it's a double flat. Um, they wouldn't know this is a foreign language to them. And it is a language. It's a beautiful language. It's a universal language. Um, but even when I'm in the car, I listen to jazz and classical. I don't listen to other stuff. I like to listen to things that don't have lyrics so that my mind can <laughs> write, so that I can wander places. And, um, and when I do listen to lyrics, I get very annoyed at how bad a lot of the current lyrics are in new songs. So um, if I am listening to songs with lyrics, it's usually musical theater, um, mostly Sondheim, because he has the best lyrics there are. Uh, we're going to try this again. Tempo giusto. Giusto, giusto. I can't even say Italian. You know, tempo giusto, giusto. 
Am I saying that right? Ju ju justo? It's not justo, right? G is a j. It's not a giusto. Giusto. It's got to be a giusto. I'm probably butchering that. Um, but that means with gust. But not allegro. Not super fast. Just with some authority to it. So we're going to try that. Again, what I probably even should do is print this side on its, say, on a front so I don't have to do a flip in the middle. Boy, is this just like as amateur as you can get, huh? This is just such a... Okay, I'm denigrating myself again. I hope you're having fun, if you're still with me. I'm going to try that again. Those first two pages. We're going to see if I can get through them. And if I make mistakes, I'm... Am I going to keep pushing through or am I going to stop and correct them? My piano teacher would make me stop and go back to a measure and continue until I get that right. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Chopin. Guten Abend. Everybody get in tune. I keep making that same clunk mistake on that C, on the E. Right there, same measure there. I keep wanting, I keep wanting to go there. I'm going to start this section again where it comes the second time in the uh, pianissimo that means extra quiet the left hand correct i was so focused on the left i messed the right One, two, three, four, one, three, four. It's very weird fingering there. There it is. Wow. See, I'm just stumbling here.
that's a whole different song, but my brain just went to that motif. I should go slower. That's my mistake. I'm trying to impress you with speed rather than first getting the accuracy. One more time, and then that'll be the end of this. <sighs> okay. Those two pages for the last time. Mistakes may happen. No, mistakes will happen. I'm human. <clears throat> muscle memory here to see if I can bring that back and not have that crutch. videos.